this journey has been an evolution in understanding and the thought process. When you're taking an off-the-shelf implant, you have to factor in a number of different areas, each of which may require compromise. For example, where the joint line is, what the rotation of the implant is, what specific size is chosen, where you reference to make that size. All of these things are points of compromise and when a particular anatomy is very different from the shape of the implant that is being used, the final common point of compromise is in the soft tissue. In evaluating the soft tissue, there is an element of judgment in knowing what feels right, and there is a range of acceptability beyond what we consider ideal. That range is required because of the variability in patient anatomy when applying a set dimension from an implant. And as such, there has to be a greater range of acceptability with an off-the-shelf implant. So the difference about the conformance is that you can more reliably rely on the balance to be good. And so it doesn't have to be a little bit looser or a little bit tighter because it can be really good much more frequently than with an off-the-shelf implant. The CAM post mechanism with this implant engages somewhat differently than in other systems. In other systems, the CAM post engagement is part of what creates the rollback and improves range of motion when it works well. With this system, it's designed so that the rollback occurs based on the articulating surfaces, based on the J-curves. And so, in most of the cases, there is no engagement up until about 90 degrees or within 10 degrees of that. The fact that with this implant system and technology, we can more readily reproduce how a normal knee moves is really quite encouraging. When a knee works, whether it's custom or off the shelf, it's awesome. It's really awesome. And I have lots of off the shelf patients that do really well. I just achieve it more frequently and more reproducibly with conformance.